protect democracy. This is what we hear over and over as to why we're invo involving ourselves between two neighboring countries 6,000 miles away while risking escalating a nuclear war. Ukrainians need our help fighting against a brutal dictator who controls the press and squashes dissent, they say. Now, that might be true about Putin, but oddly, the very man, Zelensky, who was supposed to be protecting fragile Ukrainian democracy, just banned 11 opposing political <coughs> parties and nationalized all news to ensure the only message people hear is, quote, unified information. Yes, the man who is supposed to be protecting democracy just got rid of it using emergency powers oh. under martial law. One party he banned, the For Life Party, holds 43 seats in Ukraine's national parliament. What? It's the largest of the opposition parties and even condemned Russia's invasion. But as of right now, they're suspended. All wow. because we're protecting democracy. This illogical rhetoric would be typically mind-bending, but we've heard so much illogical propaganda these past couple of years, many of us are desensitized to it by now. Nothing makes sense anymore, but we could still try. So try to make sense of this. The 11 political parties Zelensky banned are mostly considered left-wing. The Opposition for Life Party, which I just mentioned, Sharij Party, Nashi Opposition Bloc, Left Opposition, Union of Leftists, Derzava, Progressive Socialist Party of Ukraine, Socialist Party of Ukraine, the Socialists, and Volodymyr Saldo's bloc. Many of these parties are anti-war, against joining any foreign military alliance, and call for better, re better relations with their Russian cousins. And by the way, I say cousins because that's what they are. It's important to remember that 11 million Russians have Ukrainian family. Putin's own goddaughter is Ukrainian. These two countries are very intertwined. In the address announcing the ban of the parties, Zelensky stated, the activities of those politicians aimed at division or collusion will not succeed, but will receive a harsh response. Therefore, the National Security and Defense Council decided, given the full scale of war unleashed by Russia and the political ties that a number of political structures have with this state, to suspend any activity of a number of political parties for the period of martial law. Okay, that's enough. Thank you, Kim. I really love watching her show and her show. Oh, well, it's, this is called The Rising, but it's on the Hill. You guys could check that out. Um, but I have enough material now. If anyone knows me by now, you obviously know I am a strong advocate for freedom, my motherfucking country, and being able to have my freedoms here. So. I, I cannot, in good faith, understand why the fuck Zelensky just did what he did. And as much as I don't like AOC and, and the Pelosi's of the world and how they always try to fucking, like, use words to confuse us. Bitch, I know what the fuck you mean. And don't try to hide. I know exactly what you're doing. I don't like those women either. But you know what? I... I won't sit here and say they can't have a platform to speak on. If I if I can sit here and t talk all the shit I want about them, and they can talk all the shit they want about me or anybody else they want to talk shit about, they should be allowed to say it. And uh, I don't care. If, if, if you are more concerned about misinformation or disinformation, let me tell you something, Zelensky. Over the past two fucking years, Everything this government has said was disinformation. The Hunter Library, uh, the Hunter Laptop, the whole COVID shit, the, um, uh, the whole um, saying this is, didn't have anything to come out come out of a freaking lab. Um, uh, the the efficacy of these vaccines, the the um the, the side effects, everything, everything that they have told us that. People came out and said, oh, oh, I don't think this is true. I don't think this is accurate. They would say it's misinformation. It turned out that, hey, all those who were saying that, oh, I don't think this is correct. Uh, I think there's some, uh, something's wrong here. Guess what? All those motherfuckers were right. So everything that our government declared misinformation, a lot of it over these past two years, guess what? Time Truth revealed that no, though that was not misinformation. As a matter of fact, that shit was accurate. And if, if the public, if the public had got a hold of that information, I promise you, I promise you, this Biden would not be sitting in this motherfucking office. 
So now, now, now you want to do the same thing. No, I don't think so. Truth, if you have nothing to hide, if the truth is on your side, Zelensky, the only thing that will reveal it would be Tom. Tom is funny like that. As I keep saying almost in like every single one of my videos, Tom is the most undefeated champion of the universe. Everything will be revealed in Tom. You do something, guess what? Everything will be in the advantage of Tom. The only way you can squash out the truth, the only thing that suffocates the truth is the dark. And the dark in this instance is always motherfucking lies. So the moment I see anybody trying to control things and still somehow think it's a democracy because, oh, we're only trying to give them the right information. Who, who the fuck are you to tell people what's right and what's the right information and what isn't right? You are going down a very, very slippery slope. And as an American who loves defending democracy, I cannot in good faith defend you. And honestly, I think you've got some skeletons in your closet. You are no different than Rush, um, than, Rush than Putin. Y'all come from the same cloth, in my motherfucking opinion now. Before, I might have, you know, be like, oh, damn, Ukraine, Ukraine's getting fucked up, man. I know we can do some shit over here. Like, I don't know, Biden, release, release the pipelines. And, you know, with that, there'll be a trickle little effect. Well, more countries would see that other people are selling oil. Let's buy from them. And guess what? Russia's money machine would start to slow down. You'll start seeing that number go down, 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 down. But um, Biden didn't want to do that. And now... Yes, I still think he should... No, he should, he should definitely do it so we can lower the gas prices here and give all these other countries that are being held hostage by Russia um, another opportunity. But uh, after that, I don't think we should have anything to do with your fuck ass because um, something over there in your country, it ain't smelling right. Biolabs, emails on Hana saying that he done funded some of these biolabs. You ain't right. 